Have you ever spent hours perfecting content until it was just right? Or have you ever had to record something over and over again because it wasn't exactly how you wanted it? If you said yes to these questions, then you might struggle with perfectionism. In this episode, we're going to explore how existing in a very public online world can contribute to a need to be perfect and introduce to you some strategies for staying true to your authentic self. At this point, you might be wondering what exactly is perfectionism and why is it often viewed negatively? Perfectionism is a never-ending goalpost of achievement. It's actually a contributing factor toward burnout and results in this feeling of never-enoughness. The thing about perfectionism is that it puts us in a loop of avoidance and anxiety. Perfectionism is beyond wanting to have things done a certain way. It's a trait that hyper-focuses on a fear of failure and is compounded by negative self-talk. Other characteristics of perfectionism are tying your self-worth to your accomplishments, obsessing over details, and procrastination. On an emotional level, perfectionism leads to irritability and stress, which are both signs of burnout. If you wanna learn more about what warning signs to look out for, watch my colleague, Dr. Marielle Bouquet's video about the telltale signs of burnout. Now, I wanna teach you about the three different types of perfectionism so you can get a sense of which category you might fall under. First, we've got the self-oriented perfectionist. This is the person who holds very high standards for themselves and is incredibly self-critical. Second, there is the other-oriented perfectionist. This is a person who has unrealistic standards for others and becomes overly critical when those standards are not met. Now third, there is the socially prescribed perfectionist. This is the person who believes that external factors, forces, and people have high standards of them and they fear disapproval. From my experience in working with creators, they tend to fall into the first and third categories, self and socially prescribed perfectionism. When we set unrealistic standards for ourselves or assume that others set them for us, we tie our self-worth into our accomplishments. This is a recipe for burnout because realistically, perfection doesn't actually exist. In order for us to break the perfectionism cycle, we have to shift our mindset. Let's talk about three cognitive exercises that will help you overcome perfectionism. The first exercise, pay attention to your expectations. Adults with perfectionistic tendencies lean toward being very critical of themselves or others. The second exercise, shift your language from criticism, such as, I didn't do this good enough, to compassion, like, I did the best that I could. Instead of framing errors as proof of your inadequacy, see errors as proof of your humanness. These are just areas where you can continue to grow. And now the third exercise is taking small steps in practicing flexibility. This could look like delegating tasks, asking for help, or giving yourself a time limit for how long you'll work on something. This will help you create a space and time for other things that you enjoy. I want to leave you with a final tip when you find yourself stuck in the perfectionism loop. Shift your focus to other things that you value. For example, learning a new skill, spending time with friends, or volunteering for a cause you care about. This will help create healthy boundaries between your work and other areas of life that matter. There you have it. Don't fall for the misconception that perfectionism will get you further. Instead, avoid getting stuck by practicing flexibility and see mistakes as opportunities to grow. I want to know if you have ever tied your self-worth to your accomplishments. If so, how did that work out for you and what would you do differently next time? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and catch the next episode where I'll be talking about redefining success for more happiness.